Hello, Tom Hughes here from Lumen Electronics and Gambadox, and today I'm going to introduce you to our brand new PC desktop version of Gambadox. So without further ado, you need to visit gambadox.com. You've got some new tabs here. So we have login, hit that, and then use the same credentials you have for the app to log in over the web. And I've been working on this, but it'll normally take you into your dashboard. You'll see all your standard apps, all your Kanbans. You can manage all your settings that you can also do from within the app in the desktop version here. Um, I'm going to just quickly look at one that I've created in Gambadox. So you can edit, delete, duplicate, look at the change history. You can view or print. This is one that I've done here. Uh, so you can see what's possible is, you know, these are screen grabs that you manipulate directly in Gambadox now. So, you, so we're just going to create a new process really quickly. This is the main thing you're going to want to know. But we'll call this video test. The only under mandatory script thing that you need to pick is your time. And you have a choice of whether to choose multiple images or choose one by one. I find choose multiple images is the easiest way of doing this. And I'm going to just do, uh, for the purposes of the video, a four step process. Pick those four pictures. Then you edit each one. Uh, with you can choose what you're going to see in the standard app photograph within the step. And then here we have a photo editor, which you can use within the app, which is really nifty. It saves a lot of hassle. So I want to highlight youtube.com. Next photograph, I want to highlight the upload video. And I'm just going to choose a different function just to show you guys. So you've got also got circles on here. You can choose your fill or your transparency. This is pretty nifty. You can choose the line that goes on the outside. Uh, you can choose your fill. It's all pretty nifty. I'm just doing that for illustrative purposes. I hope you understand. So yeah, you can move text on here. Uh, you can put an arrow in. You can, again, you can play with the thickness or the color. It's all very easy, which is what we've tried to do since the very big outset of this product. Um, so there you go. Uh, that is all four pictures have now been edited. And if you choose your, when you're snipping these or creating your print screens, if you name them in successive numbers in your title, for example, YT1, YT2, YT3, YT4, the system will automatically put them in the right order. But if you haven't got them in the right order, you can just drag and drop. So that's also pretty easy. What you need to do now is just put your text in. Again, I'm just going to put Lauren Ipsum in just for demo purposes. And if you wanted to add a new process step, you see the little icon. Otherwise, you're hitting save. And that's you done. And from there, if you click on there, you can choose what to do with it, whether to share it, view it, or print it. Um, you can look at the QR code only or share the QR code only. And 
this is what you get. So that's, uh, we've got lots more functionality coming, but let's for today stick to our desktop PC version and it's available to all corporate users and above for those subscription levels. So we really hope you enjoy using it as much as we've enjoyed developing it and any feedback, please let us know. God bless, take care.